the Gulf of Mexico response plans for ExxonMobil, Chevron, ConocoPhillips, and Shell are virtually identical to BP's and just as deficient. As you can see by looking at the covers of these five plans uh, on the screen and over my head, the pictures are the same for each plan. All that is changed is the color. And much of the response plan and what is contained in it is prescribed by regulation. It just seems to me that for each of your companies, the only technology you seem to be relying upon is a Xerox machine to put together your response plans, uh, that there wasn't enough effort put together to ensure that in the Gulf, if a catastrophe occurred, that you would be able to respond. In the first week, uh, your company developed a document uh, that showed that your range of possibilities for uh, an accident was 1,000 to 14,000 barrels per day. And yet, your company continually in the first week lowballed the number and said that it was only 1,000 barrels per day. I, I will just uh, reiterate what Commandant Alan said is that those were not BP estimates, those were Unified Area Command estimates. We did provide that. They were your cameras at the bottom of the ocean. That's true. You and got we provided, it wrong, and we, Mr. McKay. I'm, your company got it wrong. BP got it wrong. We have provided every bit of data we've got into the Unified Area Command with government scientists and government MMS, NOAA, Coast Guard to help them understand what data we have.